I'm going to show you how to create a flyer or newsletter in Word. And the easiest way first, I've opened up Word. I'm going to go to File, Project Gallery. And along the side here, notice it says New. I've got all of these things I can choose from. If I choose flyers, these are the kinds that we put up on a bulletin board. And you see it's got the little areas that we can tear off. If I go to brochures, then I've got more that I can choose from. I love these because they're already formatted for you. The pictures are in there. You don't have to worry about the graphics or anything. So let's just say that I like this one. I'm going to click on it and hit open. It brings it up and so all I've got to do is double click on there and change the text to whatever I want it to be. Notice they're using text boxes here. You have more formatting with the text box. This picture obviously does not go with what I'm doing, so I'm just going to click on it, hit delete, go to insert. I'll put in a new picture. Um, I can choose things from my iPhoto library. I can go to clip art. For the sake of time, I'm going to go to clip art, and I'll just choose a storyteller. Hit insert and it pulls it right in and I just move it where I want it to be and I'm going to do the same thing with all of this text that I did with this here I'm just going to click, double click on it and type in what's going on in our class there you go whenever I've got the entire thing done I will just go to file Save as, probably choose something like week one newsletter, and there you go, I'm done. I love these because they are easy to do, and I don't have to worry about the graphics. So if you're like me and you struggle with things um, as far as like colors and things like that go, this is a great solution. Some people are creative, and they want to make their own. And if they do, that's great. I've got a blank document here. First thing I'm going to do is change my orientation. Go to Page Setup and change it to Horizontal and click OK. Notice my margins here. It's the entire page. So I'm going to go to Columns, choose three columns, if I want to be like the one I was looking at in the Project Gallery. And again, I'm going to use the text boxes because I've got a little bit more formatting ability with those. Click on that. Say, welcome to our class. And then down here, I can add in another text box. Or say, this week, we're off to a great start, just like I did on the last one. As I continue to go down this column, it's going to wrap up and go to the next one. I can go to Insert, Break, and go to Column Break, and it will automatically move me. And you see how I've been moved to the next column right there. Okay, now I'm going to go back over here to this column, and I want to spice things up a little bit. I'm going to go to Basic Shapes, just choose the rectangle because it was the first one. And I'm going, going to just place that there. Now notice it has covered up my text. First of all, I'm going to change that color. I do like blue, but I like this color of blue better. Click OK. And it's still covering up my text, so I'm going to go to the toolbox. If I, I've already got this selected, so if I go to Arrange and tell it to send it back, it's going to go to the back so I can see that text. Let's say I want to put in a picture. Same thing, just go to insert, picture, and I can choose clip art or my file. I'll just go with that same storyteller 
and it puts that picture straight in there. So it's the exact same way. It's just that this one you're going to be designing your own to make it look the way you want to, whereas if you use anything from the project gallery, you're going to be using a template. Great way to get kids to start using these is to use those templates. So those are an option if you choose to have your kids create a brochure.